Hi, my name is Ernest from Lipo for Oz, and I just wanted to quickly run through auto grade and solar grade cells and basically the differences. Now, if you're looking into lithium ion phosphate cells, uh, you've no doubt come across the term grade A. Uh, grade A, um, in my opinion, is uh, how do I, I wouldn't say it's fictitious, but it certainly is an, an industry standard. You know, kind of not really credible in terms of describing cells. The reason being is different manufacturers have their own grading system and they'll uh, nominate cells um, that they would like to be called grade A, grade A. So there's not an industry wide standard when it comes to the grading system. In addition to that, you'll also find suppliers, you know, advertising on Alibaba as grade A cells and, and all the rest. And um, trust me, they're, they're not, not grade A cells. That's the reason why we actually name our cells auto grade and solar grade cells. We have a different terminal on the auto grade than we do with the solar grade. We believe we're more transparent in the fact that we call our cells auto grade and solar grade cells. Um, now, when it comes to the differences between these cells, there's, there's actually not much, okay? The biggest difference is internal resistance. So, in um, auto grade cells, or cells that are typically used for automotive use, electric vehicles, um, they typically have a lower internal resistance than you know, other cells. Now, the reason for that is in um, electric vehicles, they are typically drawing high currents and it's uh, fairly frequent. Yeah, so they need to have cells with low low internal resistance to ensure that when uh, th there's high current um, draw and charging situations, the cells don't fall out of balance too quickly for the active balancer in order to rebalance them. Okay, so the order the solar grade cells they typically have a higher internal resistance. Um, sometimes you know the cells that we get they're they're comparable. Okay. Um, the other major thing as well is with auto grade cells, the manufacturer will also issue a test report um, for that batch of um, cells that have been manufactured. So you can marry up the QR code that's on the top with the test report. Um, and you can see that the cell has gone through three lots of tests, um, what the capacity was, what the internal resistance was, um, when the test was um, was done by the manufacturer. So um, with solar grade cells, you don't receive that test report. That said, we still get the, the cells tested to ensure that the capacity is what we're advertising. Now with uh, solar grade cells, you know, we've sold thousands of them. Um, doesn't mean that they're inferior. Look, if you're using them for solar storage use, um, then the cells that we sell are certainly not inferior in the fact that it will still store energy um, you'll still be able to actually use that energy to power a house, power a motorhome or anything along those lines. Yes, the internal resistance is typically higher than your auto grade cells. However, if you're using an active balancer, and we always recommend that you do, the active balancer will actually balance out the, um, the cells to ensure that they stay, you know, the same. Um, if you're, you know, got a 48 volt kit, or if you're charging your solar bank at high rates, you may choose to go for a higher active balancer um, than, you know, say the one amp active balancer that comes with daily. You may choose to go with a higher active balancer, but realistically, um, you know, if you're not charging, you know, at higher rates, then it's kind of unnecessary. But yeah, the solar cells that we sell are just as good, um, in my opinion. Um, if I was to set up a solar bank tomorrow, I would have no problems personally using these. I use these myself. I set, I've set them up for my father, you know, in a motorhome and whatnot. So, um, so auto grade and solar grade, there's really not much in between them. If you want peace of mind and if you want that information from the manufacturer stating that that's um, you know, the tested capacity as it left the factory, then, you know, great, go with the solar grade cells, or if you're using them, you know, in a electric vehicle conversion or maybe golf cart or forklift, you know, whatever, that's fine. But the solar grade cells are certainly fine if you're gonna use them for solar storage, which the bulk of our customers do. Um, but that's just a quick overview of our um, auto grade and our solar grade cells. Um, if you've got any other questions or would like to know about any of our other products, please reach out, um, either jump onto our website, lipoforoz.com, and chat to us through the website, or alternatively go to our Contact Us page where you'll see some other contact information.